are in the car. Anya, say hi. Where are we going? We're headed to the airport. And guess who's coming with us? Hi. Mama Smith. Anya's just really confused because she doesn't know where her car seat is. Look at that face. <laughs> Russia, here we come. wasn't the best flight, meaning Anya didn't we sleep. Here, so. But we got here safe and sound. Yeah. Is this where luggage is coming in? <gasps> and look who we found. Anya, look. She's just so happy to see her dad. I need to sleep right now because she was up <laughs> since five o'clock this morning. Um, she woke up and she was up and ready to do something. First she went over and she grabbed her books and she decided she wanted to read. And then she came out here and then she went to the TV and she knows how to use a remote control. So she turns to the Apple TV and she watched Madagascar from six, six o'clock in the morning to like 7.30 and then watched Frozen. And then she was just all over the place. She was just. So that's why she's asleep right now because she had a, a, a early a early morning. I let her, we, we alternate. So there's like mornings where she's up and I just look at her and I'm like, Johnny, you got to go get her. And this morning was my morning. So I was up with her, hanging out. And then it got to like eight o'clock and I was like, Johnny, it's your turn. And I just had to, <laughs> I had to go to sleep for like two hours. She has her, her bottle. She's laying on her bottle, her arm is. She's going to be asleep for a while. Look. Like she's like, look like she's uh, she's coming from a hangover. Like she had a, she had a night in the club. <laughs> she stayed up too late. Still has her makeup on. Сколько нужно, сколько времени уделяет готовки, сколько надо. Если скажут что-то новое там, захотят, если вдруг то, почему бы и нет, не сделать это, их не порадовать. This right here is uh, Chef Andrew. <laughs> Uh, we've been working together for the past uh, four years, five years, um, ever since I came to Moscow. Um, I mean, he does an excellent, got excellent job of uh, you know cooking and um, you know making making the proper athletic nutrition, athlete nutrition, I guess you can say. Um, today he's making some bosh, some palmini, some traditional uh, Russian food. He makes he, he usually cooks uh, about two meals a day for me, lunch, um, lunch and dinner. Um, which is a big help for me because you know we practice a lot. We're always traveling, we're always on the road, so it's a big help for me to come home and you know have meals prepared. And also, I mean, uh, Gianna's not here all the time, you know, with the baby and dealing stuff with with Anya. Um, so it's also you know good that because I I can't cook, I can't cook at all. Um, I survive on a bowl of cereal or <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something like that. So it's good to have you know be able to have Andrew here to you know help um, you know help me out a whole lot. Так, где? Слушайте, чуваки, здорово. Короче, подписывайтесь. У меня сегодня, у меня скоро будет блог свой, просто, просто нереальный. Вот этот чувак, он просто отдыхает, просто на него, на него подписывайтесь, не, на него подписывайтесь, на, на меня больше, хорошо? Я больше. И еще на Кайла тоже подписывайтесь, он тоже крутой чувак, вот. Мы, короче, в общем, мы гораздо хуже, чем он. What the hell was that? Uh, short interview, you know, talking about uh, you know, how I find Moscow, how I find Russia, and then also about uh, you know MMA and the event here. You know, it's my first time coming here, and then also. Did she ask you, are you ready to fight? Yeah, I told her I'm ready to fight anytime, man. You know, I got my gloves in the back. You know, I can get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I thought I had the gloves in the back. I thought I was gonna be the beta vet. I thought I was gonna be the one fighting. But no, nah, I mean, uh, seriously, um, you know, I mean, it's 
you know, a lot of guys now are doing boxing and you know, mixed martial arts and stuff like that. So I mean, it'd be a dope uh, thing to kind of play around with. But I don't think I'll ever, you know, actually get the cage with these professionals. <laughs> Kyle, you're on the best seats here. Do you feel yourself like a celebrity? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it's just dope that we're so close to the action. I mean, you can feel, you can actually feel the punches, you can feel the, uh, you know, the kicks, you can feel like you know, on the back. So, from that standpoint, it's pretty dope. You nervous, Cal? Tell me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool experience. I'm definitely hoping we you know, get a chance to come back again, or when we have uh, you know some free time around schedule to come back and, and you know take part in the event again. It was a really, uh, really cool, really awesome experience. There we go. Hold the book. Ready? <laughs> We're driving to get palminis. We're driving to get palminis. We're driving to get palminis. T e e e e. -e. Mamas usually do strollers. Right, Papa? Yeah. Well, no luck today, folks. Just wait until January. We got Christmas, birthday, baby. You hear that, Kyle? Christmas, birthday, baby. Feel good now. Happy baby, happy mama. What are you doing? Ah, mama, say mama. <laughs> look, look at the camera. Say mama. Say mama. Mm. Say hi. Say to the camera. Say baka. Fun fact that Kyle and I have known each other for about 11 years, and this is our first Halloween ever together. Ever. So we went to visit the Halloween store, and there wasn't anything that was fitting my pregnant belly. So I did some research, and I have a there's an art store in Avia Park. So I, we decided to be meatballs and spaghetti. I'm the spaghetti sauce, prego. But this is forever prego because I've been pregnant for two years in a row. And then Anya's our little master chef. So that's our Halloween costume for this year. Where are we going um, this early morning? Early morning, we're heading to the set so I can make my actorial debut. Um, we have a little, I guess a little scene, a little basketball scene here, so should be fun. Should be a long day though, a long day. Hopefully not a long day, but could be a long day. I mean, you got your own trailer. Did you really realize that? 
I mean, it's about right, right? You know, I'm joking. Uh, nah, it's pretty dope. <laughs> Got a fed pack there, you know, with the sheepskin uh, rug. <laughs> it's like uh, a little bit of a rehearsal. A rehearsal. <laughs> I can't get rehearsal, please. Uh, it's from here to here. Pleased to meet you, Misha. So, let's play. One take. I feel like this is how uh, the movie. This is how maybe like you know Denzel Washington, Tom Cruise. You know this is. I feel I'm feeling on their level. I'm feeling how they you know. Here we got the chocolate. We got a nice spread right here. Fruit, waters, Coca Cola, some cookie biscuits, chocolate. One we gotta share. <laughs> Tell me, how's it going so far? Uh, it's going so it's going well. Um, if I'll make a you know a shot. I'm one for five right now. Twenty percent puts me below average to uh, you know, three point four. So, but as far as like the acting and stuff and the uh, scenes, it's pretty dope. Cool so far. But if I make a shot, I'll be perfect. seconds of the game, Wanamaker holding for the final shot. Remember, he's got the luxury of missing if he holds for the final shot here. And Seska will have to force another overtime. He's pulled up for three. It's a rim shot. Be kept alive. That will count. Oh, my goodness. The activity on the offensive glass from Nicolo Meli has given Senabachi an overtime victory. Hey man, it's, uh, it's good to be with my man right here, Kyle Hines. Just a kid from Sickleville, man. You know, we've been here since uh, Timber Creek, Alenope, uh South Jersey Rising Stars, like man. Tall, you know what I'm saying? Tall. So it's, it's great to see him, you know, become, uh, you know, go to UNC Greensboro, break all them records, come, you know, uh, to, to become a pro and just, uh, 
you know, be dominant, man. It was a crazy game. Um, you know, he's been here the past couple of years, so that's my first time. Uh, you know, even though, you know, we have a lot of, you know, history together and survival with your team. But at the end of the day, between lines, uh, you know, we're enemies, but off the court, you know, we're great friends. So He got he got the bragging rights right now. It's a, it's a, first. <laughs> a little, man, you know what I'm saying? He, he, putting, he, putting yeah. the, he putting the numbers up, so, you know, I'm just easily but surely coming into EuroLeague and hopefully get better with time. But, you know, uh, any t you know, it's a guy also too very reliable. You know, it's my first experience in Euro and, uh, you know, EuroLeague. And, you know, I hit him up from time to time just to get advice, um, you know, being on the, on the court, off the court, with the E and all those type of things. Uh, like you said, it's, it's great to go up against him. I'm glad we got the best out of him, uh, you know, this time. And uh, we'll see him again in, uh, in uh, Istanbul. And I told him after the game, man, I was like, I'm trying to be like him when I grow up. So uh, it, it's just great to see guys that you grew up with putting all the hard work in as the young kids and to see, see them uh, be successful. So happy for him, man, and always be family all day. You know, Kyle played his heart out. Um, he did everything that he could do. Uh, win or lose, it didn't matter to me. It was seeing my son. I know it matters to him, of course, but to me it was just seeing my son and, and, and just watching him and the fans, people wearing his jersey and, and shouting his name and jumping up and down for him. It means a lot. It really does. It touches my heart. Kyle doesn't need a title to, to for him to be a champion. He's already a champion. You know, he's a champion in our hearts and, and, and definitely in my mind. The first time I laid eyes on him, I knew he was a champion. So he, I mean, of course, I would love for him to win a title because it's very important to him. But as mom, he's a champion. He's my champion. That's all that matters. Coming from America, we hear so many things. And, but actually being here, the people are so warm and so friendly. And, and the city is beautiful and clean. And, and the architecture, I love architecture. Everything is just absolutely gorgeous. Awesome, once in a lifetime experience. It was just amazing. And the best part about it, I get a chance to experience it with my family. Um, my mom's first time here, my sister's first time here, my wife, she gets a chance to visit often, but this is what it's all about having these experiences and these opportunities for family members to get a chance to experience it and get a chance to enjoy it as well. In two words, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Time won't stop so gonna get on the ride, twisting and turning through life. I've never really got a chance to celebrate Thanksgiving because usually we're either playing or we have games or we have something like that. So with my mom and my sister being in town and John leaving this week, we thought it um, would be a cool idea to kind of have everybody, um, as many people as we possibly could together to have a little bit of a Thanksgiving celebration. Never alone. I know that every day will always bring me something new. Thanksgiving is typically on this Thursday coming up, but since the guys are leaving on a road trip, we decided to do it on Tuesday, and we decided to do it with our fellow friends of Seska. And uh, instead of calling it Happy Thanksgiving, we call it Happy Friendsgiving. So it's just an opportunity for all of us to kind of get together, hang out, talk, have fun, but most importantly, eat. Really good food. As Americans, we don't get a chance to be home, we get a chance to celebrate, so we wanted to kind of come together and kind of celebrate, do something really nice for each other. So everybody came together. Um, we have some wonderful chefs and chefettes, um, you know, cook some, some wonderful chefs and chefettes to cook some wonderful food. Um, and, you know, in a little while we'll get the opportunity to eat. Guest, most of the time brings me a down. Won't exist without living now. So
so I spread all my footprints around, yeah. I know that every day will always bring me something new. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for the many blessings that you've bestowed on us um, throughout the years and, and to follow. Please pray that you keep everybody here safe and healthy. Please pray that you keep our families back home safe and healthy as we continue to count our many blessings in the future. Um, thank you for Thank you for the hands that prepare the food. Um, let's eat. Jesus, let me pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.